What's going on guys? In this video, I have gotten a few new clones from USA Inspired Fragrances. They reached out and wanted to see if I was interested in checking out some more of their stuff. And, uh, you know, absolutely, I enjoyed their interpretation of Spice Bomb Extreme and fragrances like that last time. So I figured, why not? This time, I got my hands on one of their perfume oils. Those of you that saw my last perfume oil video, you can see I've kind of gotten into those. And I got one that I'm hoping is going to be really good because I picked a really good scent. So uh, we're going to check them out, see if anything's worthy of grabbing, and see if they're worth your time checking out. So stay tuned. Starting with the 30 ml, here's their box presentation. It's a mag magnetic flip open box. They have changed their bottles. Last time they were black matte finished glass. Let's see which one this is because I picked a Lorome Sport and a Lorome Sport O Extreme. This is a Lorome Sport 30 ml. See right here on the label. Be great if it would just. Show the label. Come on now. There we go. Allure Men. Allure Home Sport from Chanel. So we're going to give this a spray and see how it smells. I don't have Allure Home Sport. I have smelled it many times. I have Missoni Wave. That's close to it, but not the same. But, ooh, there's that creaminess. Oh. This is good. <laughs> this is definitely Chanel Laurel Sport. It's that versatile, creamy, just slightly aquatic. There's a little bit of citrus. That's beautiful. I mean, if you've ever smelled Chanel Laurel Sport, I mean, it's, it's a modern day classic men's fragrance. It really is. Oh, this smells really good. This is probably going to have to jump in the rotation. Because like I said, I don't have a Lower Ohm Sport. Um, and I don't have any other clones of a Lower Ohm Sport. And it doesn't smell exactly like Missoni Wave. Because Missoni Wave smells like this plus Versace Pour Ohm. It smells like a combination or a cross between the two. Very creamy. Like I said, a little bit of citrus. It's a little. It's got a little bit of a watery feel here. Very creamy aromatic, though. Very, very creamy aromatic, just like a Laurel Sport is notoriously known for. This is really good. And the quality is actually really freaking nice, too. Um, this is one of those fragrances that Chanel Laurel Sport is pretty expensive. Maybe going this route or maybe getting a sample because you can get a variety of sizes. Um, they have all the way down to 1 ml on up to these 30 ml glass samples, which I'll show. I'll have that on screen, as a matter of fact, make it a little bit easier because they have a variety of sizes. I've, Like I said, I've, I've collaborated with them before. Their version of Aventus was pretty good, but their version of Spice Bomb Extreme and Epic Man from Amouage, it was great. That was really, really good. Yeah, this might have to jump in the rotation here in the next few days. This is going on the rotation table because this smells freaking great. This is their version of Chanel Allure Homme Sport. So this next one is Allure Homme Sport O Extreme. So this is, let's say a 15 ml. Here we go, you have 15 ml. Come on, focus. Focus for me. There we go. Lorem Sport O Extreme. So I have the perfume oil. I know I'm gonna roll that on in a moment. So I'm going to spray this one on the test strip and see how it comes out. And I know people are going to ask about this when they see them. This is the new Zaharov test strip, shaped like the bottle. Badass, right? So much more fresh. So much more fresh. Heavier dose of citrus and a little bit of a fresh green smell on the paper. I don't know the notes. I don't have the notes in front of me or anything like that. It's got a distinctive little bit of a fresh green smell. A 
This one's a little bit more aquatic than the regular one. I don't get the same level of creaminess because I've only smelled the O Extreme like one time at a duty free. I want to say at Hobby International Airport in Houston. I think that's the one time I've smelled it. So, and look, that was a couple of years ago, so it's been a while. So I'm not sure how accurate it is to it, but it does smell really nice. Super versatile, mega fresh. Much fresher than Allure Home Sport. Much more fresh. Let's pull these notes up. I'm actually quite curious. Allure Home Sport O Extreme Main Accords, aromatic, woody, vanilla, fresh, spicy, green. So there we go. Citrus, sweet, amber, musky, warm, spicy. Mint. Mint and cypress. That's why I'm getting that fresh green. Okay, so tops mandarin orange, mint cypress sage, mids pepper, which there is a little bit of spice here, but it doesn't necessarily smell like pepper, though. It smells more fresh, spicy, green, spicy type of smell. But very, very fresh. It's got a little bit of a watery feel to it on the paper. There's no aquatic notes. Base is tonka bean, musk, sandalwood, and cedar. This is lovely. You know what? Just for the hell of it. I want to see how it opens up on skin. Because it's beautiful on the paper. It really is. It smells great on the paper. You do get the tone, the similarity, the DNA to Allure Home Sport, obviously. Much more on skin. There's more of a creaminess here, but it's more minty fresh, green fresh. The orange jumps out a bit here. And it definitely smells more like pepper on skin than it did on the test strip. So, uh, yeah. Damn, this is really good, too. Because, look, I don't have a bottle of either. That's why I chose both of these. So I can definitely get some wear out of them. Because I look at it this way. If I feel they're pretty accurate, they smell pretty good, I'm going to put these in the rotation at some point. Because, like I said, I don't have bottles of the real ones. Yeah, the O Extreme is better. It's a better fragrance. So again, if you were looking to maybe get your hands on a great interpretation, great interpretation, in my opinion, of either Alorum Sport O Extreme or Alorum Sport, hey, that's an expensive fragrance. Maybe check out one of these and get a little sample and see if you like it before you get a bigger sample. Now, for me personally, this is the main event. I'm super excited for this one. This is the perf Pure Perfume Oil. And I want to get it to focus before I say what it is. Come on. Dior Fahrenheit Le Parfum. I'm very excited about this one. Threads has the rollerball. <sighs> Violet leaf, boozy, licorice. I get all of it. Oh, yeah. Roll that on the wrist. Oh, wow, yeah. That is clearly Fahrenheit Le Parfum. Um, it's not every day I see anything about Fahrenheit Le Parfum. Now, look, I have a bottle of Fahrenheit Le Parfum. Very special occasion fragrance in the cooler weather for me personally. And when I saw they had the oil for this, when they had the Fahrenheit Le Parfum oil, I said, I bet that's incredible. I want that. I want to try that. So rich and thick. A lot of violet leaf. A lot of violet leaf. The rum's not overdone, but it does have that licorice smell to it. A little spiced rum type of smell. Just supporting it. It's not too much. It's not in your face. The violet leaf's the main thing in your face. So... They have some really good oils, too. Gonna have to try some more of their oils from here because this... Damn, this is good. I've already taken my shower, and I didn't spray anything on, just in case I really dug one of these, and I really dig this. So I've got a little bit behind the ears. After this video is done, I'm grabbing the bottle and giving myself two good sprays. And that's going to be my scent for the evening. 
is this Fahrenheit Le Parfum oil, pure oil. God, it's good. And I'm going to leave it on the wrist too. So I can just sit here and smell it. And then I'm going to give myself two sprays of the fragrance. This is the highlight of the video for me. But admittedly, both Chanel inspirations are awesome. I'm very, I was very strategic with what I picked. And I wanted to make sure it's stuff that I don't have as far as the fragrances. And stuff I knew I would enjoy. Mission accomplished there. And when I saw this, this was the clear cut. If I'm only going to get one oil, I need the Fahrenheit Le Parfum oil. I figured it would be amazing. It's absolutely amazing. As you saw, I've, I've got it on. It's going to be my scent for the evening. This is really good stuff. So if you've been looking for a great pure perf perfume oil of Fahrenheit Le Parfum, USA Inspired Fragrances has you covered. Well, that's it. I am super duper freaking impressed with all three of these, especially this Fahrenheit Le Parfum pure perfume oil. Uh, I'll have a link down below with a discount code if you want to check out anything from them. Um, like I said, you can get for the fragrances all the way down to a 1 ml sample, up to 30 ml refillables, like you saw that 30 ml glass bottle, and then with the oils you can get a couple different sizes. Uh, but this is plenty. I don't even know what I don't even remember what size this is. I want to say it's like 8 ml roughly, but uh, it's plenty. It's either 8 or 10 ml. But it's plenty. The oils go very, very far. You don't need much. You just roll it around on some pulse points. That's why I put behind the ears. And you're good. That stuff will radiate. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have tried stuff from usainspiredfragrances.com? They do a good job. Like I said, I've, uh, I've collaborated with them. I've tried some of their fragrances before. This time around, I definitely wanted to get my hands on one of the oils. Because I'm kind of falling in love and starting to dabble in these pure perfume oils a bit more. I've really been digging the pure perfume oils, especially for ones that I have the fragrance on. So you can kind of layer them together, have a base of the pure oil, and then atomize the fragrance on top of it. Creates a wonderful experience. It really does. And until next time, I will say if you end up getting your hands on any of the three that I picked, whether it be the Fahrenheit Le Parfum oil or one of the Chanel Allure Ohm sport fragrances, you give them a spray now or you roll, roll that oil on. You might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.